so <coughs> instead of use this and action e get action command dot equals to like this we can do with the actions according to what we asking you to do create an inner class name button action clear action and enter action to register action to enter button like I just create an enter button this is unicode for enter button unicode you can check like that for java source it's going to look like this for the button now we're going to create a code for by create a class name interaction right so since the uh, interactions now we instead of do this we can just create an instance of that now it's require you to create a class name interaction so I'm going to create a class at the bottom here it's an inner class so that's just closing the where's the closing class that's closing the method so closing class right here like before the class close before pin pad class close so this is called inner class so how do you create a class public class and name enter action right that's an inner class now this class required to do you need to do action performance so implements just like we do implements action listener right like I did with the the pin pad right so action uh, listener like that implements right and then you require to add the unimplemented methods which is action performed it then same thing now what you wanted to perform which is just like if else but now you don't have to do if else you can just do for each action so enter action you wanted to validate right validate what input pin like I just try to show you here also how you integrate integrate your input pin back dot equals you already know what the user enter now you just need to the method to get the correct pin back right so if you have a class for authentication this is the point where you do authentication you can just call authentication back right let's say I create a new class say authentication and this class pretty much has the method uh, auth authenticate and this should get in what correct username you pass in a string to compare right string is the pin public boolean is going to return true so we can do shortcut if else in java so we say pin now of course uh, you need to have a variable to store the correct pin or in the real world we can do connect to the database here right public uh, that should be private uh, right you don't want anyone to access to that string correct pin okay equal one two three four <coughs> so assume that this is the correct pin so pin dot equals to the correct pin if it's equal so we said if this is equals then you can to say true actually we can just return right here 
otherwise it's going to return false right because the equals already do the true or false right so we done with that so I try to sh show you create a new class because you have to do the f three titles right if it's greater than three you have to say contact admin right I'll leave that up to you but how you integrate it back to your interactions right here right where you go call your authentication and you make it as public right that means you can instantiate this to use in this correct so let me instantiate authentication so Ah, uh, odd equals to new. But if you have it as statics, you don't need to instantiate. I didn't have it as statics. And then, ah, uh, authent pretty much taking care of that, right? Auth dot what? Get the method of that, right? Ah, uh, I should have the method, right? Name authenticate, right? Authentications. And this is name auth. Okay. There you go. Correct. And this is the pin. How do you get a pin? It's under input pin you pass in. So what happened? It's going to return true, right? Action perform that that meme is true. You want to show welcome, right? If we can do shortcut if else too, right? <coughs> Let's see if it's work here. J option. Uh, let me just do J option pin dot show message dialog say welcome and else else is going to say I just try to do a shortcut of wrong pin but Let me verify the syntax. Mm, they may not work here. Equals to true. There's a shortcut if else, right? revising the code a little bit let's review what I did is another way implements action listener you need to do this right but we said we can just create an inner class and call that method to handle to which this inner class name interaction and this inside the inner class I happen to have the authentication methods which pass in to check with normally we implement the database to pull this in right if it's true then it's going to return true right how do I score it to false right then we come back to if it's true it's going to say welcome else going to be wrong pin this is just shorthand of if else statement Okay, and the message just going to return welcome or wrong pin to the option pin. So let's test pin that demo right here. Run as okay. So if I put a wrong pin, enter wrong pin, right? Now if I put a correct pin. I have to clear first. Welcome. So it works perfect, right? 
now that's enter symbol from Unicode all right this one I'm going to show you how to draw something so let's say if I do extend J frame uh, J let's say J panel first let's see we need to import J panel right Now we have JPanel. What is the next step? We want to paint something, then we're going to call public point paint graphics. So panel is just like your canvas and graphics is just like your brush. And you need to import graphics class. G dot door. See, you can draw many things. Draw an image. Draw an oval. Draw an oval. An oval. We have four parameters. X, Y, just location. Location start from zero zero right there, right? So if I start from zero zero, with the size of your, if I want a circle, that means with an height is going to be the same size, right? Diameters, right? So let's see what we get. Ah, oh, that's paint, right? Now it's paint. <coughs> we don't have the main yet, so we need to get the main. I'm going to create new class, which is the graphics demo driver with the main new graphics demo let's see what we get here oh but it's just J panel J panel depends on the frame to show, right? What happens if I do J frame first? Yeah, we need a panel. Ah, oh, we need to import, sorry, right? Why we need to set your frame and so on to make it free visible? So let me use panel, then I make a frame to make it visible, right? Or I can just have my J frame and add here, right? Just another way, J frame, frame equals to new J frame. Import J frame and frame dot set visible to true and you can set the sides right let me use the full screen again we have full screen right here X sides Y sides. <coughs> Since I did not make extend, so this going to be using it, right? <coughs> and then I need to add the panel to the frame. Since so graphics demo is the panel, so. I just add it to the frame, right? Then, <coughs> of course, uh, we need to import this to use.